Hello, this is Demon Phoenix, and I'm just bringing you a Witcher build video. Uh, I only recently started playing The Witcher 3 a couple of months ago, so I kind of missed the boat on those videos. But anyway, this uh, build that I'm showing is a versatile alchem alchemy and adrenaline based build. Uh, first of all, if you haven't seen some of the better videos from people like Apex of War, his incredible tank build, uh, I would check that out, and also a Ditronus. Uh, Manticore melee build uh, they're really both brilliant videos um, and well worth checking out this build uses a lot of the key staples from tank builds and from melee builds and combines them into one build uh, it uses the ursine chest armor and various other gears to increase damage uh, whilst also being really tanky and most builds have to choose between a fast attack or a strong attack build and this one actually uses both and the way I'm able to do that is something that I'm calling skill switching where you can equip the skills to use decoctions and because of the way decoction toxicity works once the decoctions are applied the toxicity counts towards the euphoria mutation um, but you can then switch out these skills for other combat skills or general skills and increase your dam out damage output and give you different skills so that's one of the things that I'll be doing there. I'll show that a little later in the video. Uh, the swords, we have pretty standard Toussaint Knight Steel Sword for the 100% critical hit damage and the really good burning rate and Aeron Dite, which can also do 100% crit and 100% crit damage increase when it's got all of its charges applied. Those are the two best swords in the game. We've got the Grand, Man Grand Master Legendary Ursine Armor and that gives plus 34% adrenaline gain as well as giving really really good resistances like the plus 48% uh, monster resistance which is really good. Apologies for the sound dying here, it's recorded over Xbox Upload Studio and I can't really do anything about it so apologies for that. Anyway, um, the levity enchantment makes everything uh, light as well so all the other gears will count as light and that gives 100% crit uh, damage increase with the school of the cat bonus. The gauntlets are the Nilfgaardian guardsman's gauntlets and they have really solid resistances plus five for most of the resistances plus 50% critical hit damage that's why they're really good and that's actually the crafted version just to keep the weight down because your resistances percentage is more important than the armor rating on the, on this set of gear. The unvic trousers balance out the set by having really high piercing and bludgeoning damage reduction especially the piercing because having levity on the chest piece means that you can't have arrow deflection so we get more damage but we need to be able to take less damage from arrows and that's where those come in and the legendary manticore boots add a little bit of toxicity really solid resistances um, but also the plus 30 percent critical hit damage bonus which is really really good they're really good boots for attacking so for the skills like i say we use this skill switching and we have first acquired tolerance and metabolic control and we need those to be equipped when we actually apply the decoctions and then we can swap them over later whilst keeping the benefits of the decoctions and the toxicity for euphoria we've got the three fast attack and damage increases there so we've got um the three down the left and then we've also got the strong one so like i say this build manages to use both of the fast and the strong skills so you have real, a lot of versatility and it's a lot of fun as well because you get to use rend and whirl and all of your attacks do good damage depending on the enemy type we've got four greater red mutagens and they're all boosted by synergy we've got resolve and razor focus so we don't lose as much uh, adrenaline when we get hit and uh, razor focus means that you build adrenaline really quickly as well and that ties in with using rage management which is one of the yellow general skills so let's just use adren adrenaline to uh, use signs like quen and undying is mostly just filler you can have fleet footed if you want as well all of the red skills uh, boost the power of the greater red mutagens but they also give plus five percent adrenaline gain so with 10 red skills you got plus 50 percent adrenaline gain plus the amount that you get from the ursine chest armor we don't use any signs abilities uh, and we use the euphoria mutation you can see there in the middle to increase damage for the alchemy skills we don't need heightened tolerance because it's only decoction toxicity um, used and it's only potion toxicity that hurts you when it's above a certain threshold decoction toxicity doesn't uh, this build doesn't use any potions which is one of the slight drawbacks so you get more skills and damage but you don't use potions and because there's no potion toxicity you don't need heightened tolerance and we've got acquired tolerance there and like we've already said and protective coating is the main skill for being a tank build so you get the resistances from the armor set and then 25% gets added straight onto that from protective coating as long as you're using the right oil which is amazing 
Changing the oils is not so bad in my opinion and you have to do it to switch between different types of monsters anyway. So the fixative skill can be used there. I'm using it in the Nilfgaard camp so that I don't have to reapply it. But most of the time you might want to use the tissue transmutation which is plus 5000 vitality because you're using 5 decoctions in this build. Synergy, one of the best skills in the game, should always have that if you have the points for it. And it makes the greater red mutagens plus 40 instead of plus 60 each. Killing Spree, when I'm using the build normally, would have 5 points in that as well. And that increases your critical hit chance dramatically. I've left it at 20% here so that I can show the actual true damage. And lastly, a lot of builds use Hunter's Instinct, but I don't use that because it's broken, uh, it's bugged, and it doesn't work properly. It doesn't increase it the full 100% damage like it's supposed to. Um, <clears throat> moving on to the decoctions, you can see here we've got 303 toxicity. So that's having all of the alchemy potions learned uh, and throughout the game and blood and wine that gives 267 plus the manticore boots and plus the metabolic control. Now that's 303 but if you've temporarily switched gear you'll see here I've added the legendary manticore gauntlets and trousers and that boosts it to plus 320. Now the reason that's important is because you can use four decoctions for 280 which are as follows. Ekimara decoction to get your health back as you're dealing a lot of damage. A fourth uh, decoction which is actually your choice. I go with the succubus decoction most of the time but troll decoction is not a bad uh, idea as well. There are lots of good ones there. <coughs> and then the water hag decoction. You see the difference here between when it's not applied and when it is and it's a massive boost when you're at full health so that's always a good one especially because we're not going to be taking much damage. And lastly, shout outs to Apex of War for the use of the Aracas decoction, and that boosts the damage resistance that you have based on your inventory weight. Now, the last decoction that we use is the Basilisk decoction, and this is the only decoction in the game that takes less than 70 toxicity to use. It gives a place of power bonus at dusk or dawn. So because I've got 320, toxicity. I've already used 280 with the four normal decoctions and so I can use the Basilisk decoction to get to exactly 320. And the reason that's good is because Euphoria, the mutation we use, boosts sign intensity and damage. So that's another 40 toxicity which translates to another 30% in sign intensity and 30 sword da uh, thirty percent of sword damage. So that's really good. After we've applied them we can just switch back to the Unvit gear and this is the uh, skill switching I was speaking about and then take off acquired tolerance and metabolic control and I swap those two so I put back on rage management so I can use adrenaline to cast signs like Quinn and keep my Quinn up and then the cat school techniques so we've applied the decoctions keep the boost from euphoria but then put another 100% critical hit damage on top for having light gear with levity and also with rage management we can use adrenaline for skills so we have really high adrenaline gain and that's why it's really good for this build because you can use rage management too so the damage is already quite high but as you can see here i'm just going to demonstrate the exact damage so what i'm going to do is very quickly change back to the manticore pants because they add a little bit of damage percentage and that puts it to pretty much a uh, 101 percent so it's very it's indicative of the actual damage that we've got so there 100 percent you've got really high fast attack damage and massive strong attack damage with the steel sword and to show the actual correct amounts of damage for erendite um, i'm just going to kill another enemy so that's another 20 percent from killing spree because i've only got two points in it and do the same again so just apply the pants just to show this actual damage not using them and then that's the uh, pretty much exact damage that you get from erendite before it even has charges so that does tons of damage as well and so the build's really good against loads of different types of enemies you've got whirl and rend uh, here you can see taking on some vampires uh, in blood and wine and uh, you have rend and whirl all times plus taking no damage it's really good uh, you've got the different skills to mix up so like here when I'm fighting against an elemental I've got bludgeoning resistance so that I don't uh, take damage from its bludgeoning attacks monster resistance so the hits that count as monster hits and uh, take reduced damage as well see it's not even breaking Quen there but still having the strong attacks when you need them and rend so you can use whichever skills fit the opponent best and that's why I really like this build it's quite versatile a quick thing about um, the damage resistance, you have 68% for slashing and monster damage. So with 25% from the protective coating, um, that goes up to 93. And so if you have 170 in your inventory weight, and you uh, have your maximum inventory weight, 
Anything less than 110 of your current inventory weight means that you take no damage from monsters like here against the Slazard um, and no damage from sword attacks. And because we've got the Undervic trousers, you take reduced damage from piercing attacks, which is basically arrows from human archers, and also you take less bludgeoning uh, attack damage like we saw there. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and uh, leave a like if you did. If you have any questions or comments or anything you think you could improve with it and everything, uh, there are a couple other things. I may do some separate videos. So thank you very much for watching and feel free to leave a like. Thank you. Last little thing, this is all on Death March as you can see here. I'm just going to show that just in case anybody's wondering because I did forget and so I've added it at the end of the video. Uh, so like I say, leave a like, thank you for watching and uh, happy to comment or discuss anything. There are some other videos that I'll do probably about the skill switching and a couple of other techniques um, as well that I just think are kind of interesting. I love the mechanics of the game. Fantastic game and I recommend you play it and like I say watch those other build videos because there are a lot of good YouTubers um, who are absolutely worth watching and have some really great content on. So please bear with me for this being recorded on the Xbox and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thank you.